Hello, so today we are going to do um, this B weekly contest 16, some problems from it. The first problem is replace element with the greatest element on the right side, uh, which is this problem, easy, leave code easy 1299. And the problem says, um, given an array, we want to replace every element in the array with the greatest element among the elements to its right. Right? and replace the last element with minus one because the last element doesn't have anything after it, right? And then we want to return that array. And so you can see here, for this one, for the last element, it's minus one. For this one, the max is one. Everything to its right is just one, so the max is one. For four, the max between all of these is six. For five, the max between all of these to, the, to its right is six. So we put six. For 18, the max between them is six. We we'll put 6 again. For 17, the max between all of these is 18, and so we return that. The array length is this, which means basically it's reasonable to like do an O of n operation. It's not very reasonable to do like a, a, an O of n squared um, algorithm, right? Okay, so now let's see how we can solve this problem, right? So the first thing you could see just when I was reading the problem is that um, since it's elements to the right, I was kind of going backward, right? When I was explaining, I was going backward. So whenever you do this, when you are trying to solve it manually, you should think, okay, what did I do manually, right? And so here, what we did manually is going backwards, right? And so that's what we are going to do uh, when we are trying to solve it. Um, okay, so I need to return a result array, so let's just initialize it, right? Um, so I'm going to initialize it, to initialize it with minus one, so that I can leave the last one with minus one, and then the rest um, I will fill it fill it up with the with the values. So minus one for everything in the range of um, length of the array. And then I, since I said I did go backwards when I was solving it, or when I was solving it, so I'll go backwards this time. So range of um, length of array and since the last one is already filled out right so I don't need to go over it so I will go to the just the value before that which is n minus 2 right and then we will want to keep going down so we wanna the step is minus 1 and we want to stop when we reach 0 and in Python that's minus 1 so that it can stops at 0 um, and then okay so I want every um, position to be um, what so for example if I take this array here so what I want to do is um, so f I have this array with minus ones like this uh, minus one uh, let me just uh, okay so that's for this one this for this one this for this one and then we have so for this and minus one for this Okay, so uh, what do we want to do here? Um, so what we want to do is so um, so we left this one right, and so here what should what should we do? To, what should we put here? We should put the max with the so we should put the max with whatever was before, right? So here the max of minus one and one, right? And so that's what we are going to put here. And so we put one, the max of minus one and one, that's one. And then we uh, we go back, so since this is um, goes, goes from uh, right to left. So here, what do we put? We put the max between one and six, and so that's six. And then when we are here, we put the max between six and four, which is six. And then here we'll put the max between six and five, which is six. Um, and then here we'll put the max between six and 18, which is 18, right? And this is the solution. And so here what we did is basically just taking the max between the previous um, result value, right? Um, the max for whatever it was to the right except the, the one just before it, right? And so that would be i plus one. Since we want everything to the right, we can just take everything to the right of the element next to it and take the max of that with the element 
next to it, like directly next to it, right? And so that would be a ray of um, i plus 1, right? And that's pretty much it, and we can return the result. And this, in terms of complexity, it's um, in terms of time complexity, we are doing just one pass, right? So it's O of n. And in terms of space complexity, we are using an extra resolved array here, so it's O of n, right? <laughs> okay, so we can submit. And this passes. Um, one thing, although that is not ideal, is that we are using an oven space. Can we get it down to an oven space? Maybe even like override this array, right? <coughs> we can just override the array and reuse it and return it, right? So how can we do that? Um, so can we do an oven space here? So one thing we can do is, okay, let's just <coughs> Since we, w we know that, let's just keep track of the max, right? Instead of having an array, just keep track of the max so far, right? So the first thing, the max so far starts out as the last element, right? Because that's the... Um, so starts out as the last element because we are looking for everything to the right of each element, okay? And now, since we the problem says that the last element of the array should be equal to minus one, so let's just override it then. So we put it in the max so far, and we can override it now. And now we go backwards, right? And instead of doing this, so we will override the array, so we'll just return it. So we can just update the max, so we can say the array i is equal to the max so far, right? Because this is the max for everything to the right of the, the element at position i. And then we update the max so far for the next iteration, so it would be the max of the max so far and um, array i. But the thing is, we just over overrode array i with the max so far, so it's no longer the previous value of that. So let's just keep track of it, right, in a temporary variable, so that we can use it here. We don't want to update the max so far bef after updating, uh, uh, after, um, like, we don't want to do this, because then the array i would include the current element. And so we do it afterwards, and then we do array i. Uh, sorry, tomp here, because array i has been overridden. All right, and that's pretty much it. So let's run this. <coughs> okay, so that passes. And this becomes O of 1, since we are using the same array. All right. Um, another thing we can do, because Python allows you to not need this variable, um, it will... So we could do something like this. We could do max so far. It allows you to do two assignment at the same time. And for each one, it will use the previous value before updating it. And so we could use something like this. So max so far would become this, array i. So this would, would use the array i value before it gets updated. And so we don't need the tomp anymore. And array i can just take the max so far before it gets updated. This is how this works in Python. And that's pretty much it, so let's run this. <coughs> and this passes too, right? Uh, another additional thing you can notice is that, well, this is, we don't really need to do this, right? Since <coughs> we can, uh, we don't really need to do these two, right? So because it, we can just start out from minus one and start max so far with minus one. That way, the, the last element of the array would be max so far, which is minus one, which is what we want. And the max so far would update with the uh, array of n minus one, the length of the array minus one, and we'll get the same result, right? So yeah, this is always good to do once you write the solution. <coughs> some some extra code may not be necessary, so just look if you could um, make it inside the loop or something um, so that you could reduce the code and hopefully reduce the number of bugs um, that are in it. Um, okay, so now I'll submit this. <coughs> okay, so that passes again. Um, okay, so now that we did this, um, 
one other thing that you can notice here is that what we are doing essentially is just accumulating the max. If you look at this, we just accumulate the max as we go fr uh, from right to left. And every time we update, so it's it's really just accumulating the max. And this array is just the accumulation of the max as we are going forward. Of course, starting off with minus one. So we can actually just use um, a function in Python called accumulate, right? So um, punk uh, Python has this thing called iter tools, right? So we can just import it. And iter tools has this function called accumulate, right? So if I just show you here, so accumulate, what it does is it returns a series of accumulated sums or any other binary function result. So the binary function that we'll be using here is max. So it will return us a series of accumulated max, right? Values, essentially. And so uh, one thing we can do here is we could use that. Um, okay, let me, so if we, we need, we know we need to add minus one for the first element, right? So we can have, and we know we need to reverse the, so we need to add minus one to the result. And you could see this is kind of reverse it because we wanna, <coughs> so we wanna accumulate the max for the right values of each element, right? And so that tells us that we need to reverse the array. So we could reverse the array like this. So the array, I just initialize it to, so let me just initialize the array to the example we have. And now if I reverse it, and then add minus one to, to the front, I have something here that if I accumulate the max, I would get minus one, one, six, 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 18, and then, um, and then this 17, I would have to get rid of it because, um, because I already used minus one. So I could just use this and accumulate the max as I go along, right? And so to do that, I'll just say iter tools, accumulate, and then minus one for the f last element, and then reverse the array, and then accumulate using max. So if I show you a list of this, what this gives me is, you could see it's the result that I'm looking for except it's having this extra element because I added minus one and I didn't remove the one for the last element, right? And so I would need to get rid of that. So I could get rid of that by just using uh, this, right? So now I have, sorry, by just using uh, minus one like this. Um, okay, first, um, first let's see, so first, we need to reverse this, right? Because we need to start from the first element. This is for the last element. This is for the one before the last. So we need to reverse that. So we reverse it like this using Python's reverse function. So now we have it reversed, right? And we have the result except this last element here. Because we already, this is not, should not be in the result, right? So to remove that, we just do uh, everything except the first element. So that gives us the result. So we could just use this actually, one liner. Of course, it's not like it's not very clear. So this solution is better, but it just um, it makes you familiar with the different ways of doing things. And so we could just use that actually. And so we could return um, this. <coughs> and uh, also, by the way, I recommend using this Python interpreter when you are trying to solve a problem because you could do a step by step and see um, the result at each step. Um, okay, so now with this, we can just run it. And and submit. So it looks good, right? <laughs> okay, so that passes. Another way, instead of using this list function here to just get the because era tools, if we go like this, era tools gives you an object here. So one th one way, instead of list, to get the content of it is to use this um, star here, and that gives you the content. So instead of list, we could also do that like this. 
and that will give us the same the same result. And we can submit. Okay, another way to do this instead of having this one here at the end is we can just remove it from the array uh, in the beginning. And to do that, we want to reverse the array still. So we can just put this before zero. And we want to start from zero, reverse the array, and we want to remove the, the last element. And so that's what we do. We, do, we can do it inside instead of um, before. And that's, that will give us also the same result. Okay, so it looks good. Let's submit. Okay, so that's uh, that passes. Um, yeah, so we saw multiple ways, different ways to solve this problem. Even though it's easy, an easy problem, it's good to practice with the different ways of doing things. Um, yeah, so that's it for this problem. Thanks for watching and see you next time.